Joining us now from Dadian and Associates is our political analyst, uh, John Dadian, with our state of San Diego. John. Good morning. Hey there. How are you there? I listen to your show every morning, so I'm just glad the DA's not keeping a list of uh, radio people or political analysts who lie. So well, We uh, don't know, John. We don't know yet. We haven't found that. Maybe we need a, a, a freedom of information request. There you go. That, now, listen, if all of a sudden authority hated us, we would be the most popular people in town. Funny how that works. It is funny how that works. Speaking of authority, there's got a couple of things here. I want to be able to talk with you about some polling numbers here in just a second, but I'm going to, I'm going to hit you with kind of a, a curveball here all of a sudden. Uh, there's a, a package uh, being proposed today, uh, regulations on, on e-cigarettes, vapor inhalers, that the city council is going to consider today. Is this likely to go down uh, party lines? Is this something that uh, is going to go over overwhelmingly? Is there going to be any dispute when it comes to regulations on e-cigarettes? It seems like the majority of the politicians say treat them just like cigarettes yeah and and, and that's my sense I, I don't think it'll go down on party lines i mean you know on one hand there's still uh arguments on both sides and there's a lot unknown but on the other side you know it just doesn't make horse sense it seems like there's some type of harm you know that's why they start putting all these regulations on regular cigarettes many many years ago uh and you do see this not only in california but across the country more in california of course because we're so green out here but i i just see this probably as pre- pretty much uh overwhelmingly going to pass so we'll uh we'll keep a close eye on that the second vote now on the minimum wage also uh, is going to go through city council today do you get the feeling that the mayor is going to veto this uh, he, he told sully here on kogo that he would uh, in all likelihood, but of course, likelihood can change over the course of a couple of weeks. Yeah, and, and, and again, it's uh, uh, you know I, I hate to be simp- uh, simplistic here, but it really is just going through the motion because again, unfortunately, the mayor's well aware that the exact same six people that voted for it are the six people that will override his veto. But as you and I have talked, you know, uh, quite a bit is you know once that override happens, is then they start talking uh, the um, opponents of it start talking about referendum. So that's really what the end game is. Okay, now let's talk about some of those great numbers that uh, that. Are- that are popping up uh, uh, as the as the polls are coming out here. Uh, we've got uh, Carl DeMaio is actually now trailing Scott Peters in the most recent poll. Is that correct? Yes and no. Um, you know, again, I always caution, yes, but if you look at the actual numbers, it's within the margin of error. So they basically are tied. We knew this all along, and I've always predicted it will basically be, you know, neck and neck going right up until 8 p.m. on Election Day. Okay, so uh, which which of course those of us in uh, in media like because that means more advertising dollars spent on the campaigns. And there's a lot being spent, but again, to, to be specific, that that poll that you're referring to uh, is of uh, 48 to 43 percent, but with a 4.9 margin of error. So that 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 means it could flip either way. So that's basically a tie. So we're okay. We're still within that margin of error. So we're Absolutely. still statistically right. It's neck and neck going into it. Other races that are not so neck and neck, and uh, and this is this is not a huge surprise. Jerry Brown is killing it in the polls uh, leading up to this this election. Here, uh, does Neil Kashkari stand a chance outside of all of a sudden Jerry Brown uh, showing up with a love child? If the fat lady's not singing, she's she's certainly tuning up right now. Yeah. Um, we're talking about you. You like your polling numbers. We're talking about uh, you know head on head, fifty two to thirty, fifty two percent to thirty three percent, and so so that's that's a huge margin now. Uh, another in that same poll, another very important uh, uh, number is approval rating. Jerry Brown, fifty three percent. That's pretty pretty darn good for going into your second term. Now he ends up with a fifty three percent approval rating, but only fifty two percent would vote for him for governor. Is that a discrepancy, or is it just because again margins of error? Several factors, but clearly margin of error is certainly one of them. So the same poll then says that uh, that our our California legislature though is unpopular. The California legislature is at thirty eight percent. Uh, job approval. That's not good. No, no. <laughs> the forty is not good. <laughs> no, it's not. But do they care, and would they do anything about it? Well, 
Well, yeah, and, that, and that's that's always been the problem. Uh, and we'll talk about the co- congressional polling numbers in a second. But the problem with the legislature, legislature uh, in the state of California, different than co- Congress and the legislature, is because they're such secure districts because of gerrymandering. There's only a very few, if any, that are really really competitive districts. So so that's the problem with the state legislature. Now, in the Congress, the approval rating is much much lower, even twenty two percent. But it's for a different reason in Congress, and this is this has been an axiom that's almost been since the dawn of the Republic, and that is people generally like their congressman, the Congress member, but they don't like Congress, and so that's why you're seeing that low approval rating. So that never changes, though. It seems that we like our congressperson, but we don't like other people's congress uh, congressmen, representatives, and whatnot. Is this kind of like being a Padres fan? I really like these players. I don't want to see anything happen. Don't replace those players I really like. Of course, if you did, it might actually get better. But don't do that because I really like these guys. Well, it is similar. But again, again getting back to your original question... The approval ratings, uh, you know, for polling for the past decades, it has been at sometimes substantially higher uh, at certain points when people saw Congress is doing something. And you see it normally higher when the House changes but for either party because people feel, you know, that there's a change in the air. But 22 percent currently is pr- pretty, pretty low. So are we expecting that number to pop up a little bit here after the next Congress uh, comes in after the first of the year? No, because it's because again the parties I don't think are going to change. Okay, so I think people are going to see. I mean, the words that you hear that people don't like are gridlock, stalemate, and I I don't think you're going to see that change in Congress. I don't have a polling number. Uh, this the statewide poll that was done. Uh, I don't have the numbers um, for the U.S. Senate, but there's a very good chance the U.S. Senate can change parties, and that's what we're really watching. Congress is probably going to stay in Republican hands as far as the majority. So if we see the House and the Senate go Republican, and then we've got of course, President Obama in a lame duck session. Are we talking about two more years of just absolute gridlock? Uh, or you just said you hate? Basically, but I think what you're what you're going to be looking at. Uh, you use the term lame duck for President Obama. You know, is he going to go to the, his famous phone in his phone and his pen a, a lot more? I'm hmm. um, just trying to you know executive order things since he will be you know overridden a lot to, uh, by a majority in both houses. So that's going to be the interesting thing. If if, if the Senate does change, yes, President Obama will not have a fun uh, last two years. Yeah, all right, uh, John Dating from Dating Associates. John, it's always a pleasure talking, and hopefully we. Uh... Uh, we would come off that DA's list of bad uh, radio hosts and political analysts. We'll cross our fingers, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, John Dadian. Uh, Dadian Associates with our state of San Diego every morning, Monday morning here, News Radio 600 Kogo. Uh, somebody is. 